a sense <clears throat> in which the universe is purely game. Not in the sense of a one-upmanship game, winners and losers. It's more of a sense of music playing, which is lowing with sound, it's dancing delightfully with sound. No one was ever able to give a better account of this and what it's all about than, say, the traditional Christian account of what the angels do in heaven. They sit around the throne of God and they sing, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. It's not just a sort of formal way, you know, it's more like, Alleluia, 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 You know, they're really swinging. And by the time you know where they are, you know, their swinging has reached such fantastic proportions. And they start out the most amazing little skippity bopa doo da and then you got the whole physical universe happening. And that's the way it starts. And, uh... The game is great. In another sense, in music, one doesn't make the end of the composition the point of the composition. If that was so, the best conductors would be those who played fastest, just got it over with. And there would be composers who only wrote finales. <laughs> People go to concerts just to hear one crashing chord, and that'd be the end. <laughs> Same with dancing. When you're dancing, you don't aim at a particular spot in the room, and that's where you want to arrive. The whole point of a dance is to dance. Now, we don't see that as uh, something brought by our education to our everyday conduct. We've got a system of schooling which gives a completely different impression. It's all graded. And what we do is you put a kid in a corridor, right? Have a corridor. You know, and it's like, come on, kitty, come on. You know, you lure him down the hall to kindergarten, you know? And that's the right thing, because when you finish that, you get the first grade. And then the first grade leads to the second grade, and third grade, at least the fourth grade. You get grade school, you go to high school, and it's revving up, and you feel it coming, you know? You're gonna go to college, you're getting close there, right? Then you get into graduate school, and when you're through with that shit, you go and join the world, you know? You're one step closer, you get into some racket in an insurance company or something, right? And they got that quota to make. And you're gonna make it. And all the time, the thing is coming. It's coming. It's coming. That great thing. The success you're waiting for. And then when you wake up one day, you're about 40 years old. You say, my God, I've arrived. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> and you don't feel very different from what you always felt. And there's a slight letdown, because you feel it's a hoax. And it was a hoax. It was a dreadful hoax. It made you miss everything. <laughs> he thought of life as an analogy by a journey, with a pilgrimage, with a serious purpose at the end. And the thing was to get to the end. Success, or whatever it is. Or maybe heaven, or if you're dead, whatever. But he missed the point the whole way along. It's a musical. You were supposed to sing or dance while the music was being played. Why do we love nonsense? Why do we love Lewis Carroll? With his... To his brilling and the slithy toes, the guile and gimbal and the wave, all whimsy with the broke rose and the mom rafts out grave. Why? <laughs> Why is it that all those old English songs are full of Holy Little Ido and Hey Nani Nani and all those uh, babbling choruses? Why is it when we get hep with jazz, we really dig it. It's just skibbity bop and doo doo So on, right? You enjoy yourself just swinging. It's this participation in the essential, glorious nonsense that's at the heart of the world and the human experience. It's not going anywhere, but it's a dance. And it seems that only in moments of unusual insight and illumination that we get the point of this and find that that's the true meaning of life. It's no meaning. Its purpose is no purpose and its sense is nonsense. Huh. It's nonsense, alright.
I don't know what I'm talking about.